Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna highlight some of the keyboard options that you have for the X1. So the X1 being a seven inch display, it's got a great, great screen on it. You're able to get the real feel of typing on here without your hands cramping and without you feeling like you're uh, having a difficult time typing. So much real estate makes for a great typing experience. So let's start with the, some of the keyboards that I personally have on here that I use nearly every day. And I have one that I use the most, uh, but uh, I'll show you all of the all of the keyboards that I have on here. So let's start with the uh, Huawei keyboard. This keyboard is somewhat uh, like the old touchpads uh, where you can swipe apart and you'll get the different, the T9, this is really nice. But as you can see, I, well, I have the T9 turned off, but even with the T9 turned on, this isn't made for, for the US. <laughs> I can tell you that it's, it's not, um, the, the typing is, um, well, you can see. Yeah, it doesn't put a space there. You have to space all of them. It's, it's, it's kind of difficult to type with the, the default keyboard, to say the least. And that's just a T9, but let's go over to this one. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's not, uh, this is their T9 right there. So with it turned off, uh, you'll probably be more accurate. Um, so it, it's not the best, but still, it's good. And I, actually, it's kind of unfortunate too, because I like the way this keyboard looks. This is like my ultimate design for a keyboard. I, I love this. All right, so let's skip over to another one. I don't want to spend too much time on that keyboard. That's the default keyboard. Let's go over to Thumb Keyboard. This is an old keyboard right here. Uh, this this keyboard is super old. It, it's so old, you know. It's uh, it's still a good keyboard. I, I'm saying super old because I've had this uh, application. I bought this probably when I bought my first Galaxy Note, and that was oh boy, that was years ago. But I still own it, so you know I'm gonna put it on all my devices, and it actually works pretty good. Actually, let me go back and show you uh, the landscape versions, so you can get a sense. You get a ton of real estate. I don't type in landscape because I like to see more of, of the screen of what I'm actually, I have available. I don't like to type like this. This right here is um, more than enough for me because I like to look at everything. That's just me though. So let's go back to touch, uh, to thumb keyboard. Here's thumb keyboard. And with thumb keyboard, you get into some unique options. I've got my number keypad here in the middle. You can adjust all of this, but some people it'll take them a while to get used to uh, typing with it split like this. Yeah, I'm fumbling here on camera real time. Yeah, I'll show you. It could get kind of hard because you want to look at the keys and you want to see what you're typing as you're typing. But on other keyboards, I just kind of pound it out. I don't even look at the screen. I, try, I don't move around much. But the good thing about thumb keyboard is it goes away when you flip it, flip it back around. I think that's a great great keyboard very accurate in the autocorrect um uh it's just a, a quick experience and i also have this set for the sound to windows phone like i have most of the settings on, on most of my keyboards but um this is thumb keyboard now i'm going to show you uh um smart keyboard pro this is another one that i really like uh this has they all have themes so i don't want to get into all the different themes but just the options, you know, you, you go into the settings of each keyboard and you can change it and make it look however you want. Pretty much on mine, you'll see a lot of them are light colored keyboards, but some of them I have them with the dark theme and because I, you know, I prefer some of them with the darker theme. But this one right here is, uh, this theme is obviously the HTC theme. And uh, again, this keyboard is really accurate, um, <laughs> accurate as I misspelled there. <laughs> the autocorrect on this one is, uh, it's, it's different, it's, it's good. But typing experience on it um, uh, is fast. You make a mistake, you just press it, like most keyboards. But most of these keyboards, you'll find that the typing experience is really fast because it's such a big display. You know, you, you can't go wrong uh, with having such a large display and large real estate. Much easier than typing on, say, my iPhone 5S, obviously. Let's go into the next keyboard here. The next one I wanna show you is the Google keyboard and how it looks on here. And a lot of these I'm not mentioning, but a lot of them have swipe enabled as well. 
Um, and, and that's a great feature for such a large keyboard, a large phone, because then you can hold it like this. Swipe is really fast. I use swipe on my other keyboard uh, that I'll show you. The last one I'm saving for last because I like it. I've actually found that, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I use a keyboard more than SwiftKey now, believe it or not. SwiftKey was my go-to keyboard for Android. Um, but here's the default uh, keyboard. Hello, 8U. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, swipe is it's, uh, extremely fast. Um, you can see you can replace. I like that about the Android keyboard. So this is the Android keyboard. Here it is in the landscape version. There you go. Sorry if I'm off camera a little bit, guys. It's hard to, this big tripod, it's hard to kind of sit down and, and shoot the video and, and stay behind the camera and stay in focus. I'm looking all over the place. All right, so next keyboard I wanted to show you. Which one should I show you? Here's uh, in the uh, Android keyboard. This is like the default Android keyboard. Kind of looks like the Google keyboard, but no swipe. And I got these confused uh, one day. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, man, what is the deal? Why isn't it swiping? And I realized I was using the Android keyboard, not uh, the, um, the Google keyboard. And same thing, I mean, it looks like the Google keyboard, um, but you know, it, it doesn't have the swipe enabled feature. So I've shown you the Google, the stock Android, Smart Pro, now the, the best for last. This is SwiftKey. SwiftKey is um, my go-to keyboard. Why it took a long time to load, I have no clue. Uh, SwiftKey is one of the most accurate uh, keyboards that I've ever used. And I use this, which I swipe on this one. This is how I use it. I, I, I type on this one too, uh, but um, I, I use the swipe on here more. And I'm making mistakes as I say I like it the best. <laughs> but um, the, the uh, SwiftKey keyboard is one of the most accurate, I mean accurate, autocorrect keyboards and just the way it feels and looks it too has themes it, it, it's it's actually i bumped it i kind of bumped it down to number two for a moment um because i started using the touch power keyboard and i found that the touch power keyboard was one of the most comfortable keyboards i've ever had an experience <laughs> to use um the touchpad keyboard has all the different themes and things like that. And uh, it's uh, a, a pretty nice keyboard compared to lots of the other ones that I've used. Um, Swift key is more accurate, but I find myself using this one more. And I like the features to swipe up for the numbers. I really like that. For some reason, you know, I find myself typing really fast with this one. And the swipe on this one seems to be more accurate uh, than my Swift key. Now, could it be that it's learning and getting better as I go? I don't know. But right now, TouchPal has been my go-to keyboard for uh, pretty much all of my typing experiences on this particular device. On smaller screens, I might use TouchPal on them. I don't know yet, but um, on this device, I've been getting uh, I've been getting it in with the with the uh, touchpad keyboard. I think it's it's extremely accurate. The swipe on it is really nice, and it's really easy to use uh, with one hand. So there it is, guys. Those are the keyboards I use. What keyboard do you use on your device, whether it be the X1 or the G3, the Mate 2, whatever, uh, any device that you have for, for Android where you're able to switch out the keyboards, what device or what keyboard are you using at the moment? Let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next one.